everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Tell You Teaches Math. Our topic for today is computing for the test statistic value of a population proportion. Let's do it. Z test statistic for population proportion. We will be using this. C sub com equals P hat minus P divided by square root of PQ divided by N or p hat minus p divided by the square root of p quantity 1 minus p divided by n. For z com or z sub com is the z test statistic for proportion, population proportion. p hat is the sample proportion which is equivalent to x divided by n. p is the hypothesized value of the population proportion. n is the sample size or number of samples or number of observations in the sample and q is equivalent to 1 minus p. Let us now illustrate the z cone or z sub cone number 1. A school principal claims that 40% of grade 3 pupils stay in the playground after their classes. A survey among 500 grade 3 pupils revealed that 150 of them stay in the playground after their class. So we will be computing, of course, for the C sub com. How do we do it? So let us identify first the given. We have, of course, the P, our P, or the hypothesized value of the population proportion is 0 0.40 or 40%. And then we have, of course, our N is 500. And our x is equivalent to 150. So therefore, our p hat here is equivalent to 150 divided by 500. Okay. So using this formula, I already transformed the formula. Instead of getting, of course, the square root of n in the denominator here, I just get the reciprocal. So that one is the square root of n. So c is equal to p hat so that is 150 divided by 500 minus this one is 0 0.40 multiplied by the square root of n which is 500 divided by the square root of p which is 0 0.40 times 1 minus 0 0.40 Okay, so how are you going to do this in your calculator? You just press 150 divided by 500 equals minus 0 0.40 equals times square root of 500 equals divided by square root of square root of open parenthesis 0 0.40 and then 0 0.40 and then open again. 1 minus 0 0.40 and then close close and then you will be getting there negative 4.564 example number two the gsis states that 80 percent of its claims are settled within a month a consumer group selected a random sample of 240 of the company's claims to test this statement. It is found that 200 of the claims were settled within a month. So let's identify the given. We have the P equals 80% or that is 0 0.8. And then we have the N which is 240. And we have the x, which is 200. Okay? Computing for the z sub com, that is equivalent to, that is, remember that this is x over n. So, p hat is equivalent to x over n. So, therefore, we have 200 divided by 240 minus 0 0.80 multiplied by the square root of 240 divided by the square root of 0 0.80 times 1 minus 0 0.80. Okay. Using so your calculator, you divide 200 by 240 equals 
minus 0 0.8 equals times 200 square root of 240 equals. And then divided by square root, open parenthesis, 0 0.80 Open parenthesis again, 1 minus 0 0.80, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then you will be getting there, 1.291. <laughs>